I remember the feeling of dread that came with 5 p.m. Your keys rattled as you fumbled through the doorknob. Precious seconds let me lock myself in my room. Your footsteps shook my bed frame as you walked by. When I was little, I hugged you but turned my cheek to keep you from kissing me. I stole cinnamon gum from my jacket pockets, and that's the closest you got to making me feel warm. If I dropped something, I picked it up. When I fell, you left me on the floor. But every time you spilled your coffee, you changed your shirt. I guess I wasn't worth the effort. You give her presents to make up for the silence. The silence is a gift in itself when you are not screaming. Just pick up the broken glass. I don't feel guilty when I give my friends your vodka. That way I know you won't be there to drink it. You spit my name like watermelon seeds and tell me to say sorry. I'm not sorry for picking up the ax the other two left behind. Maybe the third time will be the charm. But somewhere in the back of my mind, I still vouch for your love. Like at least you didn't hit me. Like maybe I can afford college. Like I don't have to worry about going out late. Your conscience is gone. You're unconscious when I return. Pill after pill after drink after pill. My brother tells me to be careful. I've inherited your strong will. I only have one bottle in my bathroom, so for now I'm all right. But he goes home and he can't sleep, and the rest of us don't speak. My mother tells me that she's sorry I've never known love. So I throw my heart away to a boy who doesn't care just to see what it feels like to be you. And I wonder how you're still breathing. It's 5 p.m. 11 years later, and I hide when I hear your feet. Oh.